I've been in here working on Simplicity 9784. I think this little top is so cute. So I've been working on View C. This pattern is rated as very easy and I did cut out an extra small. View C has an opening in the back which is finished with bias tape and it also has little ties that tie in the back. The neck and the armhole is finished with a narrow hem. There are five pattern pieces and I noticed that the top was a little short so I did decide to lengthen the bodice by one and a half inches. And to lengthen the bodice meant lengthening three pieces. So I lengthened the upper side front, the back, and the upper front pieces. Everything was going fine until I got to step nine. Step nine has you roll the bodice and then you take some fabric and put it over the bodice and then stitch it down. But it wasn't making a whole lot of sense. But I finally figured it out and this is how it goes. For step number nine, I have the front and the back facing each other. So the right sides of these two pieces are together. And then these two pieces are the same. This here is basted. Take the front and the back piece and scrunch it down, scrunch it down. And essentially you're going to take this bottom piece here and you're going to place it on top of this. So you put this down in here and get the basted edge to come up here. Then you take your bottom piece that's the same as that piece and you're going to match it up to the basted edge. And there should be notches. So you wanna find your notches and match your notches. There's a notch there, there's a notch there. And then you're also going to match the side seams. Make sure those are matching. There's one here and one on the other side also. And then you'll pin together the straps all the way down. And then you're going to just stitch all of this down, making sure not to catch the inside of the bodice that's tucked in there. And then you're going to leave an opening so that you can pull everything through once you finish stitching. So I have the top all sewn down. Where is the opening? There it is. And then you reach inside and you just pull the bodice out from the side. So this is gonna take me a while, but I'm gonna go ahead and pull everything out. So I have everything flipped out and this is what it's looking like. This is the back and then here's the front. So hopefully that was easy to understand. I am so glad I finally figured out what to do because I was getting frustrated. So I wanted to make this video just in case you get to step number nine and you feel like you're stuck and not sure what to do. So this is how it's done. So now I'll share with you the finished garment. I found love 